hello scorpio how are you i hope this finds you well so we are going to be doing your next love coming towards you reading and everything that you'll need to know whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings all of that is in the description box below for you and we are inviting your angel spirit guides and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today all right scorpio let's take a look and see who the next love coming towards you is Next love coming towards Scorpio, please. All right, Scorpio, there are feelings towards you. We have the magician. There are next actions and behaviors towards you. We have the two of wands. There are intentions. We have the eight of pentacles. The challenge between the two of you, we have the tower. Your energy towards them, we have the ten of swords. And the potential outcome, we have the emperor. Scorpio, what's going on? I almost just feel like, what is that expression that people say? Um, like, right person, wrong time. That's kind of what I'm feeling here, Scorpio. Right person, wrong time. It does kind of feel to me, not that you guys can't make it work with it being the wrong time, but I just feel like somebody's coming in at not maybe the best, the, the most ideal time. Okay, we'll put it like that. Um, because I feel like, Scorpio, this ending here in this tower, I really don't feel like it's directed at this person. I feel like some of you guys recently just ended something here or you're you're still involved in something and you're, you are ending it. Um, for, for a lot of you guys, I feel like you just recently ended something here. Okay, and I feel like you're still kind of trying to pick up the pieces and kind of like rebuild and, and, and just, you know, get your feet on the ground after this. Okay, with this, and some of you guys, it could have been a very sudden ending. For others of you, I feel like it's something that really got drug out um, and that tower can just be, you know, like you finally allowed the tower to fall. Okay, but af afterwards, I definitely feel like you're in that aftermath of, you know, trying to heal, trying to get, yeah, look, get your feet on the ground. We have the two pentacles, trying to find your balance here. And the nine of cups trying to focus on you know being happy and content all on your own okay so some of you guys i feel like that's the space that you're in when this person comes in now you just feel a little bit like maybe you're not quite prepared when this person comes in because i feel like it's a tower all in itself meeting this person because you just i feel like you're just not quite prepared for it scorpio um so we have the magician energy somebody this person really really wants you okay and I do feel like this is a very confident individual. I feel like this is definitely somebody who is going to like make their interest, their will, their desire known, okay? I don't feel like it's gonna be like up for question whether this person wants you or not, or if they're interested. I feel like it's going to be extremely clear. This is a very confident individual who's like, I I, I, I know what I want when I see it and I'm, I'm gonna go for it. So we have the magician as their feelings. Yeah, like it's like I said, I feel like this person really wants you. They really want to make this happen. They're letting you know. They're doing what they need to do there. They have the two of wands here for their um, next actions and behaviors. I definitely feel like somebody is, you know, going for it. That's what it feels like. You know, the two of wands is he's grabbing on to you know, the, the choice that he wants and he's going for it. Um, even if it's like stepping outside of a comfort zone or taking the lead, it's He's a very young emperor and you have the emperor here too. So you got a lot of Aries energy and, and you know, Aries do, they kind of go head first for what they want. But I, I do, I feel like somebody's decided this is what I want and I'm going for it. Some of you guys, you definitely could be dealing with an Aries. I also see Gemini and Virgo, Pisces. I see more Aries energy, you got Scorpio. So those are signs I'm seeing, but it could be any, okay? It is a general reading. Um, and then somebody's going to just continue to really focus on you. Like, I'm just going to continue to work at it. I'm going to continue to let Scorpio know that I'm interested. I'm going to give them my time, my effort, my attention. Um, and I just feel like you're a little bit unprepared, Scorpio, when this person comes in. So I feel like you're trying really hard to kind of remain in control over the situation. Um, 
and kind of just get your bearings. But this person here, like I said, I feel like they are kind of showing up as an emperor kind of energy, somebody who knows what they want. And they're like, I don't mind. I'll sit here and be patient because I'm ready. You know, the emperor is always ready. It's a card of being prepared. He's seated, so he's not taking any action. He's not like pushing or forcing, um, but he doesn't have to. Like he's, you know, he's the emperor here. So I kind of feel like this is a very confident individual. I feel a lot of Aries here for you. Like I said, I don't feel like this person is being pushy, but they are definitely being very clear about what it is that they want. And they're like, I'm just gonna, I'll sit here and wait. I'll keep, I'll keep working at Scorpio. I'll keep letting Scorpio know. I'm gonna keep asking Scorpio out. It's a good energy, Scorpio. I mean, I do like it. I feel like somebody just, they, they want you. So that is what I have for you, Scorpio. This looks like your love life could get very, very interesting very, very soon. So good luck with that. Um, but that is what I have for you. I do hope that this helps. Now, if this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out some of your other placements and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just put a little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and then I will go through and pray for you. But my loves, if this is where we part, thank you guys so much for being here, and I will see you next time.